Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with another anime review. This is going to be on one of my favorites, actually. I actually ended up loving this anime. Uh, and the name of the anime is called High Score Girl. Uh, you can find this one on Netflix, and I will talk a little bit about that later. Before I continue, I do want to say a few things. One, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Check out other anime reviews in my channel as well. And then uh, also, if you want to be part of a giveaway, there is a giveaway currently right now in my channel, so go check that out. You have about... Four days left to be part of the giveaway, and then I will be announcing the winner on the 15th. So make sure you go do that today. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, and there's also a spoiler alert on the anime. So um, the anime itself was aired on Netflix uh, in December. Uh, the anime aired from July to September, so it was a kind of a summer anime. Not kind of. It was a summer anime uh, in Japan, and it took forever to get here in the U.S. because... Netflix is stupid that way. Anyways, uh, so Netflix finally released the anime in December, and uh, I ended up watching it uh, out of a coincidence because I didn't really have any knowledge to this anime, and uh, I actually end up ended up loving it. Uh, it follows the story of Yaguchi, who is a kid who loves video games, and uh, his one favorite is Street Fighter 2. And uh, he's, he's all about video games when it comes to um, the arcades. Now, I don't want to specify the arcades because it starts with all that. And he is in elementary at the beginning of, of, the, of the show. And he meets this girl, Ono, who is this popular girl, smart girl. Everyone wants to be her. Um, she's very quiet. In fact, I don't think she ever speaks in the entire season. Um, and he starts noticing that she's playing games as well and that she's actually really good. So much that she actually beats him at one point and uh, he feels offended. So they start actually hanging out together without them wanting to. At least it seems that way. Uh, and they end up being good friends. Uh, at one point, Uno's parents decide that they don't want her to study in Japan anymore and send her to the U.S., and that is a very heartbreaking episode, and it's only episode three of the season. Uh, she leaves, and basically the next episode, they skip a few years until their uh, late middle school years. And uh, Yaguchi has grown, uh, Uno has returned back, and there is a new girl in the picture, Haidika. And Haidika uh, doesn't like video games, but because she has uh, a crush on Yaguchi... She starts playing video games and she starts inviting him over to her parents' store because there's a, uh, a machine there, so they're able to play now. Throughout the entire show, Jaguchi is kind of a, an annoying character in the sense that he's more focused on the games than the girls, and the girls show that frustration towards him that he only hangs out with them because of the video game and it's not because of other reasons and eventually he starts figuring it out stuff out that you know maybe they're not just here because they want to compete with me but for other reasons and uh he finally realizes in the last episodes that he does have feelings for uno uh and he tries to confess his love to her the season really ends with a big cliffhanger uh, with him wanting to confess his love to Uno and Haidika confessing her love to y Yaguchi and giving him a kind of an ultimatum uh, of, you know, if she rejects you, then you have to give me a chance uh, and, and see how it goes. So that's kind of how the season ends. There's only 12 episodes to this. Uh, there is some OVAs promise to us. Now, I don't know if that means that they're not going to make a season two because if they're not going to make a season two, I'm going to be pretty upset. Now, the OVA, OVAs will be airing in Netflix uh, in March. I'm pretty sure the OVA, o, OVAs are already out in Japan as of right now. Uh, but if you are in the U.S. like me, the only legal way that you'll be able to watch it will be through Netflix in March. Uh, I don't think there's a set date yet, but the OVAs are coming on in March. Uh, this anime itself... Uh, was supposed to air in 2013. It, it actually had a late, late start. Now the animation itself is, um, I, I wouldn't say poorly made because if you would put it in an artistic way, it did well for the animation. The animation did its job, but in the typical anime that you watch 
with you know the drawings being great, the the artwork to it being very detailed. This is not one of those, but it doesn't take away from the anime. So I won't talk much about that because even though it is very evident when you watch the anime that the animation is different, it didn't really do much. Uh, what I will talk about is there was a little controversial on the a anime itself and uh, the, the actually the entire series because when the manga started releasing in 2010, uh, a little bit years later when they were starting to, to do the, an the animation, the anime in 2013, they actually got a big copyright infringement because they were using a lot of big names of, of video games like Street Fighter and PlayStation and Atari. I mean, a bunch of... Uh, animation uh, went in there but with 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 uh with games that weren't you know they weren't non uh, existing games they were actually existing games they were real games they were real consoles uh the anime does a real job in trying to portray a story of how kids were in 1991 1992 1983 uh and it, it shows uh all the games that they were they were playing so uh, I understand how they got copyrighted. They, I guess they didn't have the right copyright or, or something like that. So because of that, they went in hiatus and, and no one really heard about them until uh, a, a few months ago. They came back with their anime and um, I'm pretty surprised a lot of people are not talking about it. Uh, could be because it didn't air in Crunchyroll or in Funimation where a lot of people watch their anime nowadays. Uh, but this anime is actually really good and I highly recommend it to anyone that is wanting to watch kind of a shonen love story. Uh, it's not really a shoujo love story. It's more of a shonen love story and uh, I really enjoyed it. I, I think it's one of the better ones that you guys can find in that type of uh, genre. So anyways, out of 10, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Uh, why not higher? Uh, the animation was a little bit rough. I, I will say that and, and also... Uh, the, the character. Uh, he annoyed me that he was so oblivious about everything. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you guys for watching my reviews. Also, don't forget to watch my other videos in my channel. Subscribe to my channel and then also like, share, and comment. Anything you guys want to say in the comment section below. Thank you so much for all the love and support and like always, don't be strangers.